Hey, Jay here, Dirt Bike TV. Got a couple things to show you. Yamaha YZ250. Yamaha two strokes are very popular and everyone seems to love them. And the question is, why? And so we're going to talk about that a little bit here. I got a couple to show you. This first one is a 2014. It's already pretty beat up, as you can see. This is all the stock plastic, nothing's really been done. It's got an FMF pipe, a V Force reed cage. Uh, suspension's been gone through by Race Tech and set up. And got some decent, semi decent tires on here. This thing gets rode at the track and um, out at some trails like at, we call Ocotillo Wells for us out here in California. Kind of desert stuff gets ridden in some of those types of stuff as well as at the track. And these bikes, I say, why does everybody like these bikes? First of all, you can find used ones somewhat reasonable. They're not as cheap as they used to be. They, you know, the market out here at least has dried up on these. So you can find these 06 to current is basically the same bike. I mean, it's for all practical purposes, they've added some things, you know, there's a little electronic things that are different on the, you know, that the old motor doesn't have. This one's got an old motor, but the basic thing, the same from 06 up. The 05 has different forks. They aren't quite as good as the newer forks. I couldn't tell you exactly what that is. And even the steel frame bike, like uh, 04, 03, uh, still really good bike as well. I want to do a project with one of those someday. So, because um, steel frame's fun, because then you can powder coat it all pretty like something cool, and that's kind of fun. So, why does everybody like these bikes? And I think there's, there's a good reason, is they make good power, they're relatively easy to jet, um, they last a long time if you take care of them, and when they do have problems, they're somewhat inexpensive or easy to fix. Two strokes still have problems, and one of the problems nowadays is the fuel is a lot worse than it was 15, 20 years ago. So you, you should be running some good gas in here. For sure run premium, and ideally mix a little bit of C12 or AV gas to get the octane up because the fuel is not good enough for two strokes. So that's the first thing I would do in any two stroke, is make sure you get good gas mix, clean air filter, and you're good. With these things, you keep a fresh top end in, and a fresh top end can be, you know, 30 to 40 hours, depends on how hard you're riding. Um, on, on something like this, KTM's, our trail bikes go a long time, but if you're riding moto, probably 30 to 40 hours, top end, freshen it up, um, keep a fresh top end in, fresh uh, clutch, these things rip. Now, and they'll, they typically will last a long time. Bottom end, you know, it is a two stroke and they do wear out. So, you know, guys, you know, like this one, I think the bottom end was done on this one. I think it had probably 80 to 100 hours when the bottom end went and um, the big cost on these things is cylinders. When, so if you're not changing your pistons regular and keeping your cylinder clean and fresh, if you wipe a cylinder out, they're, they're bucks, over 500 bucks. And so Millennium will replate them and that still is somewhat, you know, takes some time and can be a, a, you know, a bit costly, but is cheaper option than, than get, buying a new cylinder. So that's a cool look and why everybody I think loves YZ252 strokes is that. Why do I not necessarily love them so much is the, the downside is they vibrate a lot. They're a lot harder to ride on a track than a four stroke, no matter what, no matter what size four stroke. 250, 350, 450 are all easier to ride than a YZ250 in my opinion, because they're, you know, they just, that type of four stroke power is awesome. Um, just smooth and easier to ride. So that's my choice. But YZ250s, affordable, easy to work on, and pretty inexpensive to work on and somewhat inexpensive to buy used ones. So I think that's the reason people love them. Okay, so now here's one that's really fixed up and it's naked, it doesn't have any graphics on it yet, but we've cleaned it up. We didn't get a new tank, but our graphics will cover this kind of ugly part of the tank up. This bike is a 2005. We've upgraded the forks to a 2011 YZ450. I looked around till I could find something and then Applied made me clamps that would fit these forks and bolt up the new fender and, and number plate and all that, even though there's you know plastic kits out there. This one's from Polysport that gives it this updated look. So you get the updated kind of styling on your bike with still having an older bike. Again, an 06, 07, 08, 09, 10 YZ250. If you find one clean, 
can be as good as a new bike. So got the updated look. Racetech went through the suspension and set it up for us. We got our tusk wheels. We got our oversized front rotor and rear rotor. We got our super sprocks chain and sprocket. Um, our swing arm was all beat. And see, this thing's all shiny, a little bit tubling. Well, I, I find that it's easier rather than trying to paint it or clean it up is just to polish it out. I don't do it. I have a guy named Geronimo, awesome guy out here in SoCal if you're out here. Um, USA Polishing or USA Metal in Lake Elsinore. Anyway, so that's a real cool deal. He polishes it out. And then we do, we'll scotch bright it if we don't want to have it, that polish look. But he gets all the nicks out so we can scotch bright it and, and then just have it be like, kind of like a stock looking deal. And every time you wash it, you're out there, you scotch bright your bike anyway, and you scotch bright your frame. So we cleaned up the frame really good on this thing, changed all the linkage bearings and stuff with all the all balls components, new levers and uh, new cables from all balls as well, carb kit from all balls, all the works connection pieces. ICW fixed the radiators. They do magic. ICW is back in North Carolina. They strengthened up the radiators on these things and straighten them and then put bracing in them. So they're really strong and heavy duty. And then we've got the factory looking FMF on here with a shorty silencer, gives it that just good two stroke sound. This thing's amazing. And then we have the big thing was the entire engine needed to be rebuilt. And this thing had some problems, but I got this bike pretty cheap in a, you know, the engine was a basket case, as they say, just in a box. So the engine had to be completely rebuilt. We got the full wrench rabbit kit for this thing. Crank, main bearings, all the transmission bearings, all that. The cylinder did need to be replated for sure. So it went to Millennium and then uh, TMR ported the cylinder and cut the head. And we have two versions of head. We have a pump gas head and a race gas head. So uh, I had an extra one and from Cylinder Works makes uh, two stroke heads for these. Uh, so I had an extra head to, so I could have two different heads to run for pump gas or race gas. And when I say pump gas, we would still probably mix a little bit of um, av gas to that, maybe one gallon to four gallons of pump gas and to get us our octane up there so we'd be good. So a Churby's has the skid plate, fits really nice. And then we, we got a few OEM parts, new, you know, the ignition covers, plastic, we got that. The full Henson clutch, um, I, I, I mentioned our V-Force reeds. Faster USA Cerakoted all of our brake stuff and I rebuilt all the brake stuff with all balls pieces. We've got our scar pegs. This bike is built to the hilt and just amazing. So, cool look at this bike. <laughs> It does smell good. So two-stroke guy or four-stroke guy, you can't deny it smells good. That's with some, uh, we got some Klotz R50 in there. Woo, and it's good. So thing runs strong. We're looking forward to motocross action testing this thing. And uh, pretty fun bike. You can do a lot with an old two-stroke. And you don't have to do all this, of course. But as you saw with the 14 we had, doesn't have to look pretty to have it all functional. Good engine, good components on it. Doesn't have to be pretty to, uh, to run good. So good look at these bikes. Hopefully we'll see you out at the track or trail soon.